Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to create a graphical user interface for a chatbot. So again I will be focusing only on the graphical interface of the chatbot and I will not be having a conversation with another person or with a computer. This will only be focused on the graphical user interface or GUI portion or aspect of a chatbot. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started programming. So the first thing that I like to do is put in some comments into the program so that when I look back at it, I know what this program was written for. So I'm going to create a description for this program now in comments. And I'm going to say this is a Python program, graphical user interface for a chatbot. Okay. Next, I want to get the library that I'm going to be using in this program. So from tkinter, I'm going to import star. And now I want to create the tkinter object. So this represents the parent window. And I put that here. This represents the parent window. All right. So I'm going to create a variable called root and set it equal to tk. And now we have our tkinter object. Next, I'm going to give the window a title. So just type root.title. And inside of these single quotes, put in the title of the window. So I'm going to put chatbot here. OK, so that looks good. And now I want to give the window some dimensions or geometry. So just type root.geometry. And inside of those single quotes, I'm going to put 400 by 500. OK, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have created so far. So I'm going to type root dot main loop. And then I'm going to run the program. And as you can see, in just those few lines of code, the the window here was already created. So you can see the title chatbot here and you can see the window that was created. And I think that's really amazing that you can do that with so little effort in Python. All right, so I'm going to exit this. Let's go ahead and continue. I want to add a menu bar to that window. So here I'm going to create a menu bar. Actually, I'm going to call it a main menu bar, main menu bar. All right. So I'm going to create a variable called main underscore menu and set it equal to menu and input root. All right. Next, I need to give that menu bar some labels. So just type main underscore menu dot add underscore command and then set label equal to file. And I'm going to do this for two more labels. So main underscore menu dot add underscore command label equals edit and main underscore menu dot add underscore command label equals quit. All right. And then I need to add this menu to the main window. So that's the parent window. So just type root dot config and then set menu equal to main underscore menu. And let's run the program. And now, I'm not sure if you can see it very well or not, but it says file here, edit here, and then quit here. All right, so I know it's really small, but we now have the menu bar and we have the, the window title up top that says chatbot. So let's exit that. And I'm actually not happy with that, so I'm going to add in a little bit more. I want to be able to click on like the file label and then have a sub menu. So let's go ahead and create the sub menu now. So I'm going to create a variable called file underscore menu and set it equal to menu. And then I'm going to input root. And then I'm going to add some labels to that file menu. So file menu dot add command set label equal to new and then dot dot and then file underscore menu dot add underscore command set label equal to save as 
and then I put dot dot and file underscore menu dot add command add underscore command label equal to exit all right so that looks good but now I need to add this to the main menu so here where I'm adding the label file I will change that command to cascade and then I will add in the file menu so set menu equal to file underscore menu and let's run this okay so now when I click on file I can see new save as and exit so it looks really good okay so let's exit out of this next I'm going to add the the chat area so create the chat area or I should say chat window all right, so I'm gonna create a variable called chat window, and I'm gonna set this equal to text, and it's going to take in the root, and then the border will be equal to one, the background will be equal to the color black, and the width will be equal to 50, and the height will be equal to eight. Then I want to place this chat window onto the main window. So just type chat, window dot place and then I need to give it a x value so I'm gonna set x equal to six and I'm gonna set y equal to six as well and then the height the height of it will be equal to 385 and the width will be three three hundred and seventy okay so let's go ahead and run this all right, so I misspelled something. Ah, height, H-E-I-G-H-T. Uh, All right, and with, okay, so let's run this. All right, so now this is what I get back, and it doesn't look too bad. So this would be the chat area where the two individuals, either a, a person to person or a person to computer, will converse. All right, so let's exit that. Next, let's add a a text area for messaging so I'm going to create the message window so this is where the user will input their message so create a variable called message window and I'm going to set it equal to text it's going to input the root um, we're going to have the background be black as well and the width will be equal to 30 and the height will be equal to four and I think that that's good enough all right so let's go ahead and add this to the main window so type message window dot place and I'm going to set the x value equal to 128 and I'm going to set the y value equal to 400 the height will be equal to 88 and the width will be equal to 260 and let's go ahead and give this a run okay so now you can see what we've created here in the bottom right so it's a nice little text area alright so let's exit this and let's create a button to send the message alright so of course I'm not actually sending the message this is again just the graphical user interface portion of it but it'll look really nice so I'm gonna create a variable called button and set it equal to button and I'm going to input the root and then the button text will say send so there we go and the background for the button will be blue and then the active background for the button will be light blue okay so that means when I click on the button then the color will change from blue to light blue all right that looks good the width will be 12 and the height will be 5 okay then I just need to place the button onto the main window so just type button dot place and then we need to give it a x position so x will be equal to 6 and then y will be equal to 400 and the height of the button will be equal to 
88 and the width of the button will be equal to 120. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And now the window looks really good. So we can see the button here, when I click on it, it turns to that light blue color. All right, and you can see send here in the middle. All right, uh, maybe you can't see send very well, but that's okay because I can change that. So I'm gonna set the font equal to Arial and make the size 12. All right, uh, let's scroll, scroll over here. All right, comma 12. All right, so now if I run this, that should be a little bit bigger and it is. So now we can see send here, it's a little bit bigger. Maybe I make it uh, 20 and let's run this now. Okay, so now I have this big send button. All right, so that looks good. And last but not least, I'm going to add, add a scroll bar. All right, so I'm gonna create a variable called scroll bar and set it equal to scroll bar. It's gonna input root and then the command will be equal to the chat window dot y view. All right, and then I need to place the scroll bar onto the window. So scroll bar dot place, I need to give it a, a X value. So X will be equal to 375 and the Y will be equal to five. And then the, the height will be the same as the chat window. So the height is gonna be equal to 385. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and now we can see that we have a scroll bar here. And that's basically it. Just like that, in a few lines of code, I have been able to create a graphical user interface for a chatbot. Okay, so we're basically done. Uh, please leave your, your questions in the comment section. Uh, let me know if you want me to create a full-blown chatbot application uh, sorry, application using a graphical user interface and, you know, being able to converse with, let's say, a computer. And, you know, you basically put in a message, then the computer responds back, you know, that type of thing. You know, you click the send button, it sends the message. Let me know if you want me to create a full-blown application in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please uh, hit that like button and please share the video. Um, also, if you're not already already a subscriber to the YouTube channel here, please become a subscriber. It really helps out. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.